Hello YouTube, this is MikeDon878, I got a mixed match for you here, and um, it's actually funny because when they asked for mixed, I've been using my mixed team in like all my uploads lately, so I was just like, you know what, I'm going to use my mixed team, but I'm just going to throw Murkrow on there for fun. So, um, anyway, um, I lead a Persian, he leads with nine tails, obvious fake out's coming, but um, he just stays in and he takes it, and um, that does a bit of um the nine tails. It would have done more if I had left over or life orb, but I have extra belt. I switch into Salamence to take the obvious fire blast and he does the obvious fire blast. It um it still does a bit, but it's probably barely a three hit KO. So um he switches into Obama Snow to, you know, got the snow warning, probably blizzard me and um I didn't know what he was gonna switch into, so I actually went for the dragon dance. I probably should have just dragon cloud to be safe, you know at least get damage on whatever came in, but whatever, I can switch out. I have tons of things to take hits from Obama now. So I switch to my Reggie Seal to take the obvious Ice or Grass move. Either one he resists. So he goes right for the Blizzard. And my opponent's playing pretty straightforward at this point, so I was thinking maybe they're a little bit noobish, but they're not overpredicting. Anyway, um, I just set up the Stealth Rock because I want out my rocks early as possible. Because I seen he had both a Victini in and Nine Tails, and Obama Snow is also weak to rocks, so it really be my best benefit to put up rocks early. Seeing so as half his team is weak against it, and I think he might have a Star Raptor as well. So anyway, I switched my Kabalian here on his um Obama Snow, and he actually goes for the substitute, which I didn't really know he would do. I didn't think he would be doing it since he had a uh, Blizzard. I thought he was more of an offensive set. For some reason, even though they probably all have Blizzard, I'm not too, too, too good at o or UU because I don't play a lot of UU. So, but I actually did a fairly good um, job at predicting most of his UU guys. But, um, anyway, he leech seeded me. Um, that's gonna kill Cabalion's um, stay in power a lot as I just um, sacred sorted him to break his sub, and I got life orb damage and all that, and. He switches out to his Victini here, and uh, I think, yeah, I just went for the Sacred Sword. That does a little damage, but not really that much, considering I'm Life Orb and pretty much max attack. So, um, we're both going to get hit by Hail on that, and he actually gets the, um, the Leech Seed recovery in that, so he's going to go back to over half. So, um, I'm just going to Volt Switch out, because I want damage on this thing. And it's probably an easy KO range for any of my Pokemon. The only one who can take a V-Create, though, is Salamence after the Intimidate. And since he doesn't have rocks up, I know I can easily just switch in. And um, after that V-Create, I'm going to be faster than him anyway, so I can just roost off any damage he does. And um, I'm pretty sure he told me he was Choice Banded, and if he was Choice Banded, look at that damage. Like He only did like 150, so... I go for the Roost expecting him to switch, but he actually doesn't switch. I don't know why he didn't switch, because... Obviously, there's not really anything a Choice Banded Victini can do here. Maybe he was flint hoping for a critical or something, but, you know, you can't hacks fish, whatever. But, um, I just went for the roost and all that, you know, you see what happened. He got hit by hail, all that, and he sends in his, uh, Roserade, and I actually went for the Dragon Claw, because I, um, wanted to outspeed it. And most, um, Choice Banded Victinis are adamant, so I figured I could outspeed it. And um, his forecaster takes a lot of damage. And um, I figured since he has a forecaster on a fire and ice team, it definitely has weather ball. So ice is up right now, so it's going to be an ice type weather ball. And um, he's actually life orb, so the life orb damage plus the hail damage will take him out there because he was already in range from um, Dragon Claw. So um, I actually didn't end up having to worry about that Roserade. I was worried that it would. Um, Sleep powder on my guy. So um, anyway, I go for the protect here when he brings in his Star Raptor. Judging by the name, I know it's Choice Scarfed, which is actually funny because um, when I talked to him, was out, I was like, "Oh, you watch Fizzy Stardust?" And he was like, "No, who's that?" He was like, "It's just named Fizzy Star." I was like, "Okay, don't use someone else's set if you don't even watch their content. It's kind of lame." Anyway, he brings in a Licky Licky here, and um, I just go for the T Wave. And he gets his lefties, all that. I can't do anything to a Licky Licky. Like, most of my team can't do anything. Kabalian might be able to take it out, but that's about it. And I doubt Kabalian can one hit KO it, because that thing's incredibly bulky. 
Um, he goes for the Dragon Tail on my Switch, and um, he actually ends up killing all Salamence with a critical hit. But in all honesty, the critical hit didn't really matter, so. I bring in my Kabali in here, because I know I can at least Sacred Sword him, and if I don't KO him, I can Revenge Kill him with something, but um. He switches into his Nine Tails, who gets rocks damage, brings up the Drought, but it's easily going to be KO'd by the Sacred Sword, so. It's kind of a bad switch, you know, firing out one of your Weather users this early on. He brings back in his, um. Star Raptor, and judging by his playstyle so far, I had a feeling that he'd go for the Brave Bird. So I just left Kabalion in to die, just because I knew he'd lock himself into it. And um, I'm going to bring in my Registeel at this point, because I know he's locked into a Brave Bird. And he actually makes the bad play, uh, well, sort of bad play. He actually stays in and to get damage on me, but um, I'm just going to hammer arm him, because I just want this thing dead. So next turn, he's obviously going to die recoil. So. I'm just gonna let him do that. I can't really do anything because he's obviously gonna die for recoil before I do anything. I already have rocks up. So I just have to take that hit. Use the hammer arm to do nothing. So now he brings in a bomb of snow. And there's not a whole, whole lot I can do to this thing. I can hammer armor him for super effective damage. But super effective damage is kind of an understatement here because, you know, Reggie Seal has terrible offense. But um, I'm pretty sure I actually get a lucky crit. Doesn't really matter too much because I could have KO'd it with Kabalion. But um, yeah, I got a lucky critical hit there. But it didn't really matter a whole whole lot because I had other people on my team who could have taken care of this thing. But um, he leech sheeted me and all that, and that's gonna get back a bit of his health back. But um, it's not gonna save him in the long run. He just goes for the blizzard here to get damage off me before I hammer arm him. He could have went for the substitute to get my HP a little lower, but I guess he didn't want to stall. I don't know. Maybe he didn't want to stall, but I would have stalled at this point just to get my one of my main walls down. Because Registeel's been taking hits from everything. So, kind of a bad play there. He goes into his Tootsie Pop. Um, at this point, I'm terrified of Tootsie Pop because I can't really do a lot to it, but it can just drag and tail me out. If he had um set up entries, this match would have been a lot scarier with... um. Twitzy Pop run around. I know it does have the Dragon Tail, which is super effective against Luster, but um, for some odd reason, I thought I could set up a Calm Mind in its face because it was paralyzed, but it's only a 30% chance of being paralyzed, so he's just going to Dragon Tail me out. And that actually does a bit of damage, so maybe a some attack investment. Um, he drags out Miss Pris, which is my Persian. I'm just going to go for a fake out um, faint attack combination, I'm pretty sure, just to get some damage on him, and you know, that damage is pretty pitiful. There's not a lot I can do to this Licky Licky. I have no super effective attack against it because Technician Persian doesn't get any fighting moves. He gets the uh, para hacks there, but he probably is going to drag and tail me out anyway. So, um. Go for another feint attack, and he just drag and tails me out at this point. And he brings me into my Murkrow, and I'm just getting kind of mad that he's drag and tailing me out. So I'm just going to go for the Feather Dance, just so um his attack will be negative too. So, um, if he does Dragon Tail me out, then he's not going to be doing any damage with it, so. Yeah, and that Dragon Tail did nothing to Murkrow, because that's physically defensive Murkrow. Plus, he's that negative, too. So, he brings me back into Latios. I'm just going to go for the Dragon Pulse, because I need damage on this thing. He gets the Para Hacks, which is fine, you know, because Dragon Tail won't do a lot after negative two, or any attack he really has. So um, I go for another Dragon Pulse, and he just goes for the Dragon Tail. And this part's really stally, you know. I, t I actually pretty much just told him, I was like, just just please just forfeit, or at least, you know, let yourself die, because you're, you know, wasting my time here. Plus, there's not really anything he can do with negative two. If he brings in his Roserade, or whoever's left at this point, I'm pretty sure they'd die from rocks. So um, he almost dies there, and he rests. And then I was like, really, you rested? I was like, come on, come on, come on. Like, that's just, oh. I was just angry at this point that he was trying to do this. But, um, anyway, he ended up forfeiting, so I cut that bit out. And, um, yeah, smiked on 878. Um, you know, have, have fun battling everyone. And, um, I'll upload another match sometime soon. See y'all later.